Hello there. Yes, you. Tell me, how would you physically drag a donkey in your direction? Well, there are only a handful of physical mechanisms we can imagine. Humor me. How would you do it? What? Throwing rocks at it. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to work very well. Try something a little more imaginable. Huh? Remove the air and other matter between donkey and you? Oh, I see. You're proposing that the pressure of matter on the outside pushes you two together. Okay. I suppose that that'll work a little better than throwing rocks at the donkey. Any other idea? What's that? Put both of you in a bowl so that you slide towards each other? Oh, okay. I guess that that'll work better than attracting the donkey by throwing rocks at it. What if you used a more, say, down-to-earth method? How about if you simply tie a rope around the donkey's neck and tug on it? Now isn't that the simplest way to drag the donkey towards you? Why make the mechanism more complicated than you have to? Well, the reason I ask is that gravity is an invisible force that produces attraction. For instance, the Earth has outward centrifugal motion when it rotates around the Sun. We use the word gravity to refer to the invisible mechanism that keeps the Earth from flying out of the solar system. So, which mechanism would you choose to simulate gravity and to explain how the Sun tugs on the Earth? Would you do it by having the Sun throw rocks at the Earth? Would you remove the matter between the Sun and the Earth so that the matter on the outside pushes the Earth towards the Sun? Would you convert space into a bowl so that the Earth slides or rolls around the walls of the bowl like the little ball on a roulette? Or would you have the Sun twirl the Earth around itself by the invisible threads that interconnect their respective atoms? Food for thought. <laughs>